Today I'm going to talk about repair and roll coat. Jobs that were using the pour method that have been installed for about five, six years may need a little service and repair over time. Paving surfaces can take heavy abuse over time. You can have tree roots, settlements, and just plain old damage. So we're going to clean the area out, get everything off the patio in this case. Then once you have everything cleaned off the patio, you are ready to start the process. Some people try to take a pressure washer to gravel lock. You do not want to do this because if there's any dirt and dust on it, all you're going to do is blow it down into the system. The most efficient way to clean it off is just simply use a leaf blower. And if you don't have a leaf blower, you can use a broom to sweep off any debris that's in your way. Now, once everything's clean, you are going to look for several things. The first thing you're going to look for, weeds. They like to find their way into a porous system. Roundup can be used. Roundup will not hurt the chemical compound of gravel lock. But if you're trying to complete this project in one day, the most efficient way is to simply pull them and then you can spray Roundup to keep them from coming back. Okay, now that you got the large debris out of the way, it's time to get all the small debris. This gravel lock system was installed using the pour method. And during installation, there was a couple areas that didn't get enough gravel lock. When you find areas that are filled with dirt from downspouts or just dirt washing on, you need to scrub them. A hand brush or a broom will do the job. And if somebody's using the blower at the same time, then you can ensure to get all the dirt and dust out of the cracks. Here's an area that didn't get enough gravel lock when installed. Clean out all loose stones one inches deep. Now you're ready to do the final cleaning. We simply take a hose and we wash off the top. Using water will wash all dirt and dust off so we know we have a guaranteed bond when we do our roll coat. This is the same concept as painting cars. If the car isn't clean and has dust and dirt on it, the paint will have trouble sticking. We are just painting the surface with gravel lock. We are going to use clear over this job that was installed with amber. The tools need to repair are trowels, 5 gallon bucket of clean wash gravel, and some gravel lock. I'm using 8 ounces of liquid with a half a five gallon bucket of gravel for the small repair jobs that we need to do. Mix the gravel lock until it's all wet. Find the area that you need repaired. Simply dump gravel lock in the hole and use a trowel to flatten it out. Once the hole's filled, just pack it down, add a little if needed, then compact as best you can. Pack it down one more time, make sure there's no loose stone in the area, and you're finished with the repair. Now we're ready to do the roll coat. You need to use a medium nat roller, not too thick. You don't want to goop it on because you can have foaming if you apply too much gravel lock. Try not to walk in the areas that you've done roll coating. If you can't reach them, you need to work yourself back out of the job. The amount of coverage you should get out of one gallon of gravel lock is 150 square feet. If you get two 300 square feet out of a gallon, you are not putting enough down. And if you are only getting 50 square feet out of a five gallon, you are putting way too much and you will have foaming problems. Foaming occurs when it puddles. After you've roll coated an area and you find a spot that you want to fix, Take your pre-mixed gravel, sprinkle it out, and trowel it into the holes that you're trying to fill. Please be safe. Read the MSDS. Wear respirators, gloves, and eye protection. It is very important that you don't injure yourself while using gravel lock. Roll coat shouldn't take you too long. About six to 800 square feet per hour. Foaming occurs when gravel lock puddles. It usually takes about 45 minutes to an hour for
before you will see it. The best way to fix this is use a bristle brush or a broom and pop the bubbles. You might have to do this process several times. The reason for this is too much was applied and it's trying to cure from when inside, just like a beer foams up. Allow 24 hours of drive time, put all your furniture back, and enjoy your gravel lock patio. And thank you for your interest in Celtech and Gravelock.